Keith Young here with another GIMP tutorial about creating memes for Facebook. In this tutorial what we're going to do is actually use a picture and then put the text with it in order to make a meme that has a picture and some words. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is go ahead and open up a new document. So I'm going to go to the file menu and choose new. Uh, the width should be set to 800 and the height should be set to 600. Under advanced options make sure the X resolution and the Y resolution is set to 72 pixels per inch and then make sure that the color space is set to RGB color. We can go ahead and fill with the background color and then click OK. So this will be our canvas that we're going to work on our project with. Last time we used a Dr. John Henry Clark quote so we're going to do the same thing this time. So what I did in order to find the quote was I just did a real quick uh, Google search and came up with one of uh, Dr. John Henry Clark's more famous quotes. History is not everything but it is a starting point. History is a clock that people use to tell their political and cultural time of day. So I right clicked on that and copied it. And then we go, go back over to GIMP and I'm going to select the text tool and then with the text tool and the canvas I'm going to click and drag out a box which I'll use to contain my text. Right click inside there and click paste. And there we have our quote. There's some extra information in here from the website. We need to go ahead and delete that. and then uh, clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to click and drag to select this the main quote and then we're going to use the, the tool pop up to make the text bigger All right, and what we're going to do is we want to. I'm going to put a graphic over on the right-hand side, so I'm going to ha have a dark background. So I'm going to need to change this text to a light color so that we can still read it. So I'm going to click and drag to select all the type. Click on the uh, change color box, and then I'm going to use the crosshairs and the color picker to choose white, and then click OK. So now our text is white. I'm going to go to the layers panel and select the background and then I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool set to foreground color fill and then I'm going to click with the paint bucket tool in the background. Now we need to find an image to put on our meme so I'm going to go back to the internet and I've already done an image search on being for Dr. John Henry Clark. So this looks like a good image that we can use. So I'm going to click on it, right click, and click copy. Now we'll go back to GIMP and edit and paste. Now we have our image so I want to choose the move tool to move our new layer and I'm going to move this image over to the edge and we want it to fill the entire frame from top to bottom so what I'm going to do is we need to transform this or scale it up so I'm going to choose the scale tool and I want to scale this image up now I want to make sure that the scale is proportional so I'm not stretching it too long or too tall. In order to make sure that the scale is proportional you click the little chain links and now it will scale proportionate. So let's just start over, let's reset and with the chain link selected to make sure that these stay proportional I'll click and drag.
And now that we've completed that edit, I'm going to choose the Move tool again. Click and drag this over to the side. And what we're going to do to blend this entire thing is in is use a gradient so that the text isn't on top of this picture area. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer. When I created the new layer icon, it actually dropped that selection down and it put it on top of the type layer. So I'm going to select the type layer and drag that back to the top. Or I'll, I'll use the up and down arrow key. I'm going to select this layer in order to get it back to the top on top of the image and use the move move icon to move that up one level. That places the text back on top of the image. Now with the I'm going to select the pasted layer that we pasted in and then choose new layer. Click OK. Now we've created a new layer and what I want to do is create a gradient that goes from black to transparent. So I'm going to choose the gradient tool, click on the gradient, and I'm going to choose foreground to transparent. So it's going to use this black background color, or foreground color, and then it's going to fade out to transparent. Now with that selected, I can click and drag, and that pulls the uh, black over so that we can really see our type, and it blends in very well with the, the image. All right, so that's just one technique for adding an image to the meme and then blending it in by using the gradient tool. This is Keith Young, and I'll see you next time.